another loop. We're on the bit of a track at the moment, or the center track. So this is what happens when you leave your chair unattended, drying it by the fire, and your fire lighters too. <laughs> I can't explain the fire lighters, all right? No. I know, I know what happened with the chair. That was definitely my doing. Still in a really good frame. Frame's still good. Look at that. You could fix that. Just a bit of cloth. Be fine. <laughs> Dear me. Uh, Let that be a lesson to you all, right? <laughs> Respect your fire. Yeah. <laughs> Never leave your chairs on the roof rack in winter. <laughs> That's the lesson here, I think, gentlemen. Yeah, don't let them get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Here we have a wombat apartment complex. The square scat. My little Rubik's cubes. And a myriad of um, entrances going in. And one here that appears to have passed away. Not a real big one. It's still only pretty young I reckon that one. That's it. I don't think he's too bothered about us that's for sure. Certainly holding his ground. She. So this is where you got your cameras? Yeah. How many you got out here? Uh, there's two just here at the moment. Okay. In this one spot, keeping an eye on some wombat. Fairly oh, decent wombat crater here. Mm. Yeah, there's a few here actually. So there's breakfast. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to put that just over here. Here, thylacine. Come and get your breakfast. 
Kids will like a bit of peanut butter. Oh yeah, and wombats and possums. It's to bring, you know, whatever they we can. They use it in those Elliot traps when they trap little marsupials and rodents and stuff. Yeah. Quite popular. So I try and label them all like this. Yep. So we've got the eight cameras here in Murundi and a couple on the eastern side, um, two here in the middle, and then the rest out in the western side. And then it's got a few out that way too. Tighten the strap. We found it. You could tighten the strap. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that before. <laughs> Try that and see if that works. And here we go. He's tightening tighten the strap. The strap. The strap is still loose, but he's trying to tighten the strap. Uh, a little bit. Uh, it's tighter. Uh. <laughs> oh shit, he's filming. There you go. <laughs> Done. You know what Frankenstein would say? Where's my peanut butter? <laughs> tighten the strap. Okay. That's better. Yes. Thank you. Mate. Oh, he's just stop there. He's going in the wire now. Push this thing under the guardrail, off the road, so nothing gets hit. Oh, and it's a decent size. I think it was a male. I can't remember. It was a yeah, decent size. Right yeah, right yeah reasonable so size wombat. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 So I left it there, yeah. and then about ten days later, I went camping for a walk, and yeah. it happened to film where it was. And all there was was a pile of dung. Yeah. That's it. Not a bone. Yeah. Not a bit of fur. Nothing. I pulled a huge male out from underneath that caravan and came in on ranger duty. I had some a couple of it got stuck visiting. under there and died or something, and didn't it? it? It didn't get stuck under there, it just went under there to die. Okay. And it didn't have any bullet wounds, it didn't have any broken legs, so I couldn't work out what so killed it. It had some yeah. blood coming out its nose. Yeah. My biggest guess was that it's probably it's a, bit a, a brown snake. Oh, wow. Okay. Because there's yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. a combat warren back here and we have seen brown snakes there, so I'm guessing he got bit <laughs> and he died. So oh, drag him out the following weekend. <laughs> and the only thing was like soil. Wow. Were a few bombs so and like I suppose they're yeah. defence and, and that is That's the bus, one criticism I get from skeptics. Why don't we find a dead one? Well I'm safer. Like if I've got my rear facing. And that was this is in winter when this wombat was gone in summer, like you know, you get the heat on something and they start floating and explode. Right. Everything yeah. goes yeah. against that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can smell that. Yeah. Actually, there was just right. a little yeah. bit. That's right. Yeah, and they're ready for you. Yeah. If he's coming towards me, well, I'm going to buddy like that. Because then they just, like, yeah. 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 if a fox goes down the burrow, they'll yeah. push up against it and squash it. Two of them. Beautiful. How cool is that? The size of the new reserve that we just got. Yeah. No, I do yeah. reserve. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, really? There's a nest up there that we've seen used over many years. Incredible. But that lake short, is it lake short? We haven't been out there yeah. was very that much. We've been so busy with the new property here. Yeah. 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 We haven't observed whether the eagles are still using it. 
Yeah. Um, but we, we did have a peregrine falcon in it. Yes. Uh, Nest there. I'm not sure, but it was years ago. Was and that got destroyed like somehow. 80s or something, wasn't it? Oh, well. Wow. We yeah. picked up an artificial yeah. one. Oh, yeah. ah, right. Mm. We've got no evidence that that had been used. It um, had been filled for years and years. In my younger and days, I could climb up and have a look. Yes. It was on by the. These days, I suppose, one of our yeah. members has got a drone and could go up and have a look. They gifted it to us. Oh, wow. And the year after. They gifted it to us anyway. Then, um, <laughs> the first time. And Gary and I found the eagle's nest. Yeah. Last spring, last week, yeah. the green went by. Far north. Check, okay. And, um, and on, uh, this new reserve. Rain showers just gone through like this. They're about the only ones you can see. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure if the one yeah. on the reserve is an eagle. Yeah, it was a wedge tail eagle. Okay. So it might it's be a bit small. It might be like a little eagle. We get little eagles here as well. Okay. So, but you go into like the Trove newspaper, like we do, uh, and type in like Tiger, uh, Robertstown Tiger, or just type in striped dog like animals in South Australia, and you'll be surprised what actually comes up. Mm -hmm. There's the Keith Tiger that came up, mm -hmm. uh, the Robertstown Tiger that come up, and that's then we've the had many um, more. National Newspaper Archive. Yeah, online trove. Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. resource. Yeah, mm -hmm. through, the, through the library. Yeah, yeah. finding old stories. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. Incredible what's in there, it really is. But when did you, you did you write down your name and yeah, the contact no number? I'd like to keep a record of who's got copies of this, copies of that. Yeah, no worries, mate. I got a phone call, you, you've got something I've not even seen a week or so ago <laughs> from a, I've not even seen it. From a, well, a lady at um, Wangala, yeah, and she said, uh, I saw a, a wombat, I've seen it twice, crossing the road as I've come home. And uh, she said, uh, it's definitely a wombat, but it's got very long legs. Ah. And uh, I said, well, I've never seen anything quite like that. Uh, they're uh, normally short-legged animals. Yeah. But they can... They can certainly use their legs to make a bit of pace if they want to. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, she said, she's seen it twice, same animal, she said, it's definitely a wombat. But it's got long legs. And it's long got legs. long legs. Where was this? At Wangala. Where's Wangala? Uh, just up the river. On um, this side or? This side. Downstream yes. from Blanchetown? Yes. So it's between the blanched where the Marne grade. River comes in. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Marne River, yeah. Near Copple Hill. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. That is a roo. Oh, is it? Ah. Or two. Nature Foundation is trying to sell off block by block. No, all right. So it's, yeah. they've developed it. Yeah. to be one big <coughs> area that's separated into blocks. I forget how big they are, 10 hectares or something. Mm. Each one has one hectare where the house can be. They've piped in mains water to each of the blocks. And so they're trying to sell them to raise money to go for some of their other work. But mm. it has heritage listing on it, so the only place, the only thing they can do with it is, is build a house mm. in the area where they're allowed to build a house. But they're not allowed to put any fences in between their block and the neighbor's block because it's meant to be one big heritage area. Oh. So that mm. area, although it will be in private hands and they're finally selling, they've still got some left, but there's took a long time to sell. That extends that corridor. Mm. Yeah. North of mm. That's good. But does that run back as far as Mount Mary? No. No, okay. No. Yeah. Uh, it's... It would be an area, maybe like. Okay. Yeah. In, yeah. In terms of size. Mm. Yeah. When I used to work for them, they were, that's when they got that land and started subdividing it and advertising it, but it didn't get any quick uptake. Yeah. I see now they've been selling some of the blocks. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I know when I had cameras at Tiger Plains, um, near Mount Mary, um, they they're starting to sell blocks off all down Tide Plains Road there mm. now too. Yeah, some pretty big blocks. Um, but yeah, we had some sightings around there. So And Tiger Plains, I mean. Well, I still mm. can't find the history, like, which says it was, there was a tiger that escaped from a circus, a travelling circus or something mm. like that. There's, you know, so the reference, we assume, would be to 
mm-hmm. the beef of the tiger. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. So yeah, it's quite interesting. And then Robertstown with their 1908 sightings, they, the tiger in the area had everyone <laughs> like um, going a bit sort of like they were concerned for their stock and okay. yeah they were talking about this at the church meetings and they had town hall meetings about the it, tiger in the it area. It wasn't a case of if, it was a case of we have a problem. That's right, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and there was three separate reports about that um, that were made for some of the newspapers and uh, one was where um, a farmer had sighted it and <laughs> the way he explains is actually quite hilarious, it was like the teeth like a jackrabbit and and it was like this, and, I, and it was just the way he went you know stripes like a tiger and yeah. the tail like a broomstick and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, but when you look at a thylacine it is like a whole bunch of animals put together yeah. you know, and yeah. they just like the platypus so it was sort of sinew, was it? yeah that's right we often have a bit of a stretch about it yeah yeah, yeah. 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 How many warrants have you got? How many warrants have you got on the property? Yeah, over three thousand. These ones are soft. And how many are active at any one time? Oh, 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 God, look at to the that. population where it's black. Okay. over the years, yep, and yep. I've got a figure for each yes. month of the year, yeah. just yeah. average. Yeah. But, so it's a pretty rough sort of yeah. estimate, but uh, yeah. it averages yeah. around yeah. about yeah. two your active oh, wow. burrows so to to per walker. Right. right. Okay. okay. Not phased by us. Yeah. He's looking back now. No, oh, he's all kind of. But the snapping power is the 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 key. That's, it's like it's not biting. That's a fantastic force, effort, Glenn. That's a, a lifetime of work there. That's so good. And just seeing all of those pins on the map. Oh, it's not those drawers, That's amazing. It's a real credit to us. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And, and that's, fantastic work. That's just. Yeah. Well, you can keep that if you like. Oh, really? Yeah, right. it's, uh, oh, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's not really complete. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, cool. uh, yeah. we're ready to guarantee that it's 99.9% right. There's a, yeah. a, a few um, plotting errors on it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, on behalf of a dozen and 3,000. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do they do they graze very far from their warrant when they're grazing? How far do they actually move away? Is the, the least right. that they can to get what they want. Yep. And get as back the, in a hurry if they need as to. As the summer proceeds, you can see their tracks okay. moving further and further out because there's less food. Yeah. Uh, yes. They eat out what's near the warrant. Yep. And then yeah, that's the Because right. they're very yeah. conservative, yeah. conservative yeah. about. So, it's not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You don't hear of them fighting much yeah. or sure. anything that's like that. They tend to move away from each other. Yeah, that's good when they can do uh, like They certainly like move footprint. out yeah. further and further yeah. as the grass yeah. uh, gets okay. you uh, eaten up.